been recording for a while now. Well, here we are. Here we are again on our Hump own. Hump day. Feeling it a little bit. How about you? Nah. <laughs> I'm feeling it a little bit. I don't I'm know about anybody else out there, but I'm I'm definitely feeling it a little bit. It is Wednesday, hump day. We have a hill to get over. A little bit, a little bit. Hi ho. It's off to work we go. Dude, no. I'm not sold on the topic yet, but we could we could go down this path. I'm ready. I'm ready. Well, Let's go. Sing with Let's me? go. Come on. Hi ho. There's only one way to get there. I don't remember the <laughs> well, we I haven't the watched the Seven Dwarfs in a while, so well, hold on. You you know this part. Hi ho. Hi ho. Yeah. It's off to work we go. My memory, my memory of that specific Disney song. Okay, so we'll just do the high. We'll just do the high hoes then. High ho. You ready? One, two, three. Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. It's off to work we go. It's off to work we go. I don't. I don't feel like you're all in this with it's me. Okay. I, we, we it's gotta, okay. It's hump day. No, no, no. no it, it, I, I need. It's hump day. I need more energy. We have okay. to get over the hill. We have to get over the hill. Okay, so. I don't. You think... ready? Are you ready? Okay. Okay, come on. Ugh, get into your inner dwarf. Pretend you're like four foot eleven. And. That's not hard to do. You ready? I don't think four foot eleven people sing. I think we usually kick people in the shins. Okay. I like to do that. Hi ho. <laughs> Hi ho. Hi ho. It's off to work we go. Yes. It's off to kick people in the shins because you know that's <laughs> how we wins. Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. No. Hi ho. <laughs> it's off to work we go. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. My co host thinks I'm insane. Today's a little episode. bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm insane too. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Not really. We're not talking about Snow White. No hoes in this. No hoes. I mean, what? Goodbye, ho. What? Goodbye, ho. It's off to work we go. Snow White's a hoe? No. What? I, they were saying hi to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... I thought they were saying bye. Oh. <laughs> bye, ho. Bye, ho. It's no, off I just to mean... We... I, so it like, still sounds they're like going they're... away from her. So why would they say hi, ho, to her... If they're going away from her. So there was another going woman in the movie that we never see. Sure, yeah. There's another woman at the at the mine that they're saying hi to. <laughs> Can you name the seven dwarves? No, I know. Uh, Can you remember their names? I know. Who knows what's his the name? Seven dwarves. What's the his seven name? dwarves are important. What's they're his really name? important, them damn seven dopey. dwarves. Dopey. I know Dopey. I know Dopey. Yep. We all know Dopey. I love Dopey. He's dope. We all love Dopey. Yeah, he's dope. We all feel a little. It, it's like it's it's a. Dopey makes us feel good about being dopey. I'm a little dopey. Right, we're all a little dopey. Right. We all have a little dopey in us, right? Right. That sounds yeah. Hi ho, hi ho. It's. <laughs> I'm not gonna bail you out on this one, man. There's no bailing required. No, there's no, no bailing no. required. <laughs> it's okay. So the. Do you think that's the dwarf you relate the most to? Probably, yeah. What do you think that says it's about also, you? <laughs> it's also the one I it's also the one I remember the most, but still. Still, still, still. I think I like I like Dopey. I think he's dope. He's pretty cool. I I think we all relate to Dopey because we're all human. Right? Dope Dopey represents a very human side of things. I think all of that we're gonna get a little deeper in the seven dwarves. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Did was that real? What? That sneeze was that real? <laughs> <laughs> that was so random. Right? That was so random. That was so random. <laughs> so we got dopey. Do we have any other? Do we know any other dwarves' names? Sleepy. Right. Sleep. Right. Sleepy. Isn't that one of the dwarves? No. Yeah. I'm yeah, pretty sleepy. sure sleepy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. so sleepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got dopey. I mean, I'm gonna have to make a list here. There's oh, you're making a list. I might as well look him up at this uh, point. How about I'll, I'll tell you a secret. What? W w w What's the secret? What's the secret? I, I have to look over here. This I have to look up. I apologize, folks. You'll have to look at the back of my head for a minute. It's not awful, but let me think. Let me. Where'd it go? 
Okay, so do you know the original name? We'll skip it. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clue you ahead. I'm going to give you the original names of the seven dwarves and see if it helps you. Little known fact, originally a Grimm's fairy tale. Okay. Right, 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 right. hundred years it was written before they got the names you know now. Okay, it was... Oh, that's why you sneezed. Because there's one called... You're cheating. Che I... Okay. He's cheating, I'm folks. Sorry. I'm he sorry. He cheated. I didn't cheat all he the way. He full on cheated. I just saw he sneezing full on cheated. and sleepy. He full that's on cheated. It. He full on cheated. I didn't see all he, of them. That doesn't work that way. I didn't but see all of them. the original names... The ones I remember Blick, sleepy, Flick, sleepy. Glick, Snick, Plick... Wick and Quee. I think I find myself most closely relating to Quee. <laughs> does, does anybody else think Quee is probably <laughs> Quee? Are you more a Plick guy? Quee? How do you or, spell that? Uh, it is Q U E E. <laughs> <laughs> or were you more a Glick? Or I a thought snick it was like with a K, guy? a Glick or a Snick. Do you relate more to Glick or Snick? Which of the seven I dwarves do you feel best what, represents your psyche? I don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> Dog, it sounds like they just made that up. All of it. They made all of that up. That don't make no sense. They're not ink. Well, maybe Welcome they're Welcome to how books I, are written. That's not German they either. They made it that's, all up. That, they made all of the that up. The leap today will be that when people write books. No, nah, they made all of that they up. They make it all up. Yep. A hundred years. This is the original story. Right. This is the original Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Right. Don't diss Quee. Okay. Quee the man. Okay. Flick, flick, nick, snick. Flick, flick, glick, snick, plick, wick, quee. That's I right. think the only one that's an actual word is wick. Echo would like to point out Wick is the that only she one had no problem getting sneezy word. after I fake sneezed over and over again. I didn't know there was a dwarf named Sneezy. I didn't know that. And then, well, you've. I haven't what about seen. Queasy? I haven't seen that movie since like I was a kid. What so about Queezy the dwarf? They don't talk about him Queasy? much. Queezy. Yeah, he had. He was going through hard withdrawals, so they don't show him in the movie. <laughs> um, the Queezy had been through some rough things, but he was coming up, <laughs> so he couldn't. There were eight dwarves. Um, Queezy, they kind of hit off in the oh corner. My God. You know, they they had, but they got him through. <laughs> Often referred to as Quee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh so my we got gosh. Grumpy. Okay. Yeah, I remember that now. Do you, do you, so you relate to Dopey. Yeah. Um. What about Grumpy? I like Grumpy. He's, he's cool. No, I said, do you... Oh, oh, no. Do I relate to him? My cheat sheet just disappeared. That's not acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. I'm like, no! Where's the cheat sheet? Bring back the cheat sheet. I'll give us all a cheat sheet. How about that? Okay. I'll give us all a cheat sheet. Ta-da! Mm. So you got Grumpy, Sleepy, Dopey. Right, 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 right. We relate to all those, right? Right. I, I think everybody immediately relates to Dopey because there's He's we dopey, all have man. this feeling of having a bit of an imposter syndrome, like He's we don't dopey. believe in ourselves. Right, 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 right. The, the Dopey's not Dopey. Well, he is Dopey, he's but he's, dopey. He's, he's he's the sweetest one, and he's he actually yeah. is very genuine. As we feel. Definitely. So you got Grumpy. Okay. Grumpy's kind of pissed at it all. He's, yeah. he's a contrarian. Yes. Do, do you, Ross, by any chance know what a contrarian is? <laughs> yes, I've been a contrarian this entire show. Like, not this entire show, but like... I want you to know that he is soft this selling specific, how long he's been a contrarian. This specific, uh... His experience. However long, eight minutes that we've been live. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, was, he was never that before eight minutes ago. Okay, maybe. Okay, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit, yeah. Maybe, maybe a little bit. But we... Maybe a little bit. <laughs> how do we deal with Grumpy? How do we deal with Grumpy? If you're and it's, if it's a grumpy day, if you're the if you're if you're feeling like you're grumpy today, like you're like every every extent, answer's no. To some extent, I try my best to like hold that in. Like I try to go against it in some sort of way. Like I try to be like if I'm feeling if I'm feeling grumpy about a situation, I try not to show that. Even if like I might I might say something, but I'm trying not to like. Sh so, like, when I'm angry, I try not to, like, show I'm angry with, like, the way that I talk. I try to, like, tell people that I'm angry without, like, showing it. I don't do a good job at that, but, you know, I try. 
It's a thing that I try to do. Yeah. The grumpy's hard to deal with. We all get it. Definitely. We all, we all definitely. That's, I think that's one we actually fight with as opposed to. Uh, dopey we can accept. Dopey's like accepting our inner us that feels questionable. Like, hey, I don't trust everything I decide. Yeah, you can you can keep pushing with dopey, but grumpy just stops everything. I mean, sneezy is obviously the ender of worlds, the bringer of pandemics. <laughs> sneezy represents the end of the world, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Mm. Sneezy, dopey, grumpy. Who else you got? Who can you? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I'm looking at the screen. I'm looking at let's the, go with the Doc. live. Let's, let's Doc? Jump, let's jump to the other extreme. I don't remember Doc's personality. Assume that Doc yeah. is a Doc. You can actually, the, the nice thing about not calling him Quee or Blick is now we know <laughs> what they are. The, I think the big leap from Quee and Blick to the names we've fallen on is people don't go, man, Quee, he knew some stuff. What the hell did Quee do? What, the, what, what type of, what type of like? Well, but how do you know Quee wasn't Doc? Knowledge were you gonna gain from calling him Quee? Well, originally it was like, just Seven Dwarfs. Yeah, I get that. It was that. a random Seven Dwarfs. I get that. And but but I f so the impetus for this show uh -huh. is with a little bit of silly. I want to talk about how we're all onions. So we should have talked about Shrek. What what are we the, doing? No, what are we doing here? We're glass onions. That <laughs> As we, there's more layers to us. Okay. So there's some. We are a little dopey. Yeah. All of us. All of us yeah. have some dopey. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest. Everybody in the world right now has got some sneezy going on. <laughs> yeah. There's some sneezy. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes we feel sick or not good. Okay. You know that sometimes we let our physical our physical body affects who we are. Okay. So I think sneezy represents that physicality that actually can have an effect on all the rest of your feelings. That's a good point. You know, I, I so sneezy, dopey, grumpy. I mean, we we all relate to grumpy. I think on some level. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the story of my. I'm gonna tell you the story of a cup. A cup. A cup. Like Beauty and the Beast. No. Okay. So, uh, man, it, this is early mid '70s. Okay. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves has come out again in the theaters. Right, 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 right. I am young enough to throw a holy hell fit. Okay. And my mom would have to bust in with how old I was because I have no idea. <laughs> so, my brother got to pick which cup to get first. Okay. He got dopey. Where okay. do you go after Dopey? Everybody wants Dopey. I want to be Dopey. Right. I want to be Dopey. Everybody wants to be Dopey. Uh, mm, excuse me. Burpee. Until you're Dopey, uh, then you Burpee, don't really want to be Dopey. the less known but... of the dwarves. <laughs> also sells seeds. Burpees are awesome. I love but, Burpees. Stop it. Um... <laughs> making me grumpy. <laughs> That's the point. So, no, but, so I throw a fit and guess which cup I get. Okay. Grumpy? Of course. <laughs> of course. Uh -huh. I was, to this day, I remember that. So I had a you wanted cup. to be dopey, and then you threw a fit My older about brother not got getting to have dopey, the dopey cup. and then you got grumpy. Well, because I wouldn't give an answer about which one I wanted, so they So you're going to get grumpy. <laughs> well, you're obviously grumpy. <laughs> So my memory is that obviously these things fit relative right, to right, descriptions. Right, right. Thank God, looking back, I realized, oh, I'm grumpy. I must have known something. My brother was just dopey. <laughs> my brother is by no means dopey. <laughs> Degree in physics and a variety of other things and quite a wise man. But you know what? As a kid, I might have liked to think of him as a little dopey. So sneak grumpy, sneezy, dopey. Sleepy. Sleeping. Sleep. So you're you you you're looking at the rest going, ah, this is not meaningful, is it? I'm very sleepy sometimes. I talk about sleep as time travel. Definitely. Sometimes. Definitely. That like you're caught in a space and it's like jumping in your TARDIS and going to the next moment. 
Well, when I was a kid, I, I just used to sleep all day if I didn't want to deal with anything. Like, I'd sleep through a whole weekend sometimes. Just because I could. Like, it's almost like your body, it's weird. Because if you, if you go to sleep, wake up, and just go back to sleep, like, you don't need anything. You don't need give to me, use the bathroom. Give me, give me just a second. You don't need to, what? No. There's a noise. Yeah, uh... What is the noise? It, I think it's the beeping, I think. Where is the beeping coming from? I'm pretty sure it's coming from this, but you're going to disagree with me on that. I, that can't make beeps, so it's got to be coming from this. I'm telling you, it doesn't always do this. You can hear it in your ears, though. No, I can't. It's I can't not hear it in my ears, but I can, see it, I can see it on the Audacity recording. So that something is beeping. Yeah, there's a beeping noise that, like, keeps happening... Re like it's a reoccurring beeping noise and I can't figure out where it's coming from fully how many times has it happened a lot by the looks of the audacity thing somebody post something and see if it beeps somebody just say something let's see do -do -do. I can do this beep. oh sounds like a fan not a beep okay there's a Okay. Duh, duh, duh. There's I a beeping all. and white noise. The beeping is very faint. Okay, the beeping is faint. The fan's on. That's why. Is the fan better? That should be better. I think. Do to do. What are you doing? <laughs> That's hilarious. I am so sorry for that, folks. Does that sound any better? Anybody out there? Is there a little bit of... Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Straight over. Hey, hey, hey. Don't eat that pudding. <laughs> <laughs> really? That part's in the board. I, I don't... No, was, was there an extra mic on? Is that any no, better? No, that was the, uh, that was this, but I don't know if that's gonna help. Which piece is that? That should white help? White noise is gone, beeping is louder now that the white noise isn't drowning it out. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to deal with this. Oh my gosh. Don't know how to handle this. Because I don't see it at my end. Hey now, this is right, it, we need Doc. We need the part of this that is Doc. Where's, Doc? Where's our, where's our new producer? We're going to need the Taurus. <laughs> How bad is it, guys? Can we, can we, can we keep going? Still, Still beeping, beeping after, after you, you push, push something. something. Yep. See, it's not that. I'm pretty sure it's this. Because if it's coming... I'm, I'm going to try coming, and explain to everybody out there coming that through a board to your, doesn't actually make any noises coming, of its own. Hold on. If it's it coming... Can't. If it's it is coming, incapable of doing so. What I'm saying is... It can only put out noises that go through it and come out. If it's coming through to your computer, but it's not coming through to my headphones, then it can't be this computer. Can you hear it in your headphones or no, not? No, I can't hear it in my headphones at all. But it's coming through... It's coming... So it's not the board. It's one, it's coming through the, the computer, but it's also coming through to your computer. So it's not the computer doing this. It has to be. It can't be. It can't be the board. The board can't make noises. The board doesn't make noises. The board moves noises. I don't, I don't know how to... So by definition, the board cannot do that. <sighs> Some people like to blame the board for everything, especially our new tortoise. It's I mean, not producer. doing it anymore. Did it, oh. I guess. I don't know. Ta-da! I am so sorry, folks. I did not mean to get totally off tangent. But at the same time, your listening experience... Excellent, excellent. Thank you. Cool. Your listening experience means everything to us here at Studio 586B. A Viridian subsidiary. What were we talking about? It really? I'm joking. What were we talking about? No, the I closest really... person to a dwarf in the room is forgetting about what we're talking about. I'm dopey. I'm dopey. <laughs> Come on, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's back up to sleeping. Okay. 
Sleepy can definitely be a coping mechanism. Yeah. I think we all relate to that. Have you ever? Yeah. Definitely. That, and this is what hit me as I was going through the seven dwarves. That actually all of them we relate to. All of them have mm-hmm. deep meaning. Oh, Sneezy, especially right now. As Sneezy was the one I stumbled <laughs> on, and I was like, uh, oh. well, we've all been sick, though. And it also kind of relates to the world. But then you get to Sleepy, and Sleepy I relate to so deeply. The day overwhelming, too much to handle. Like moments where literally I've just fallen onto a sofa, and I'm just out. I'm physically, emotionally, everything wrecked. You know what's funny? Is that you would think that the more you sleep, the the more relaxed you feel. But the more you sleep, the more tired you feel. Depends. Yeah, no. Like if you sleep past if you sleep past the regular eight hours, mm-hmm. you start to get really, really tired past that. Like it starts to be like a chore to get up. Like have you ever noticed that? Like Well, I think sometimes is I think there's a lot of information out there on how to sleep, right? Mm-hmm. Not like it. Okay, I don't mean sleep right. I mean like timing on sleeping right, has right, become right, a right. bigger thing. So like, right. I'll I'll run a thirty minute or an hour nap. I know I know you're not supposed to do an hour, but I'll I'll do like a shorter yeah recharge yeah, and that's a lot better than if I crash for yeah, three or four hours. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because it's almost like if you crash too long, oh my god, I gotta go back to sleep. Maybe that was sleepy's I've heard problem. The, I've heard that the, the sleepy trick, slept too much. I've heard that the trick is to not. Uh, is to take a 20 minute nap. Take a 20 minute nap and you'll like cuz cuz 20 I think 20 minutes is how long it takes to fall into REM sleep or something. <sighs> the trick is you're trying to avoid REM sleep. Yeah, you're trying to avoid cuz as uh, soon as you 20, fall in 20 the the perfect nap length as mm-hmm. studied is 26 minutes. 26 minutes. Okay. 26 minutes. Okay. And then there is the coffee nap and that is and I'm trying to get off caffeine. But the coffee nap is you drink a cup of coffee and you lay down for 26 minutes. Okay. Because it's just, it's long enough that the caffeine will kick in so that when you wake up, you'll have energy. So you're starting the caffeine roller coaster again. Right, 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 right. And you've, so you reset. Right, right. Okay. So we've got Dopey was the first one. Yep. Sneezy. Yep. Grumpy. Yep. Sleepy. Yep. So that's four of them, right? Yes, there's three more. Can you think of any of them? Well, we talked about Doc a little bit. Yeah, Doc a little bit. So we're at five. Let's talk about Doc. Mm-hmm. Doc's that part of us that knows stuff. The part of us that the, knows The stuff. confidence. If Doc, Doc, at least, you know, he's got glasses and he, you know, he's fixing things. He's okay. the part of us that, gosh, we want to be sometimes. Gosh, sometimes we want to be. You know, like. Am I Doc or am I Dopey? You know, that in a given day... You I'm can... a little bit of both. <laughs> I'm a little Doc and I'm a little Dopey. Come on over, we'll just get a what little soapy. That? Angry Birds. Oh, I thought Angry. I thought you were wearing a Seven Dwarf shirt. Oh, I wish. I, was I didn't say, have Seven Dwarfs. I thought, I thought you were wearing a Seven Dwarfs Angry Dwarf Birds shirt. was as close as I could get. So we're not going to talk. What's What's... Bashful, sorry, sneaking up. Bashful. Deerfield bashful. I forget what the word bashful means. Shy. Embarrassing. Embarrassed. Shy. 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 Yeah. Really embarrassed. yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. The, cool. The cool. part that holds you now. back. The part that makes you go, oh, I'm not certain. Yeah. There's A lot that. of that, There's man. Some of that. There's some of that. There's some of that mixed in there. Well, how would you? How do you deal with that? How do you deal with that? Okay, so those who are not paying attention. There's some anxiety involved with us doing this. Because we live with anxiety. I like to believe it keeps me humble. Bashful and anxiety can kind of go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. As opposed to shy. Though I think all of them kind of... I think you feel that. You feel that uncertainty. Mm -hmm. If Doc is the one that knows... Bashful's the one that is worried maybe he doesn't know. He might have the answer. I feel like you got to overcorrect with confidence to some extent. So you got to go full doc. Yeah. Not saying like you know what you're doing all the time, but like you got to like I don't know. I've only been able to get rid of my shyness sometimes. Like there's there's only certain situations I've been able to like fully get rid of my bashfulness, so to speak. 
There's one last dwarf. Okay. Any ideas? So we've we've been bashful. We've been grumpy. We've been confident like Doc. <laughs> we've sneezed like a pandemic. We've been dopey, sleepy. Six dwarves gone. Cause I'm happy. That's right. Cause you're happy. There's happy bits. There's Does everybody happy have happy bits. bits? Happy bits. Does everybody have so? One last time we've got Flick, Snick, Qu oh well, wrong, wrong list. Hold on. Grumpy, sneezy, <laughs> dopey, sleepy, Doc, bashful and happy. Mm hmm How do we get to happy? How do we get to happy? That is the question. That is uh Yeah. Uh I don't know. I really don't know. So I'm going to make a suggestion. I think it here. just happens sometimes. Uh, this is where I came with the seven dwarves today. Okay. I think all seven dwarves are in you. Mm hmm. I think the way you get to happy dwarf is you come to terms with all of the dwarves. That the dwarves have to all work together. Mm hmm. That you need some sleeping. We mm -hmm. all need to sleep. That's important. Um, I think Bashful and Doc have to work hand in hand. Bashful is, Bashful is the humbleness that keeps Doc right. Mm hmm. Or was that Marty? Was it Marty that kept Doc? Never mind. Wrong. <laughs> oh, sorry. Wrong, wrong movie. Wrong universe. Unless that, Disney owns Back to the Future now. That you have to come to terms with you're going to be grumpy. You're going to feel dopey. These are all layers of your onion. Mm -hmm. They all exist inside of you. I still feel like we should have talked about Shrek if we were going to talk about onions, but you know. And that was as it was in the past. A man would wear an onion publicly upon his belt. What? <laughs> what the fuck? I carrieth my onion with me. Bro, what? <laughs> We're very crisp at the moment. I like crisp. I like apples. Speaking of apples, Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. But anyways. Okay. The point is, how do we come to terms... We all relate to one or the other of the dwarfs. We go, oh, I mm -hmm. love Dopey. And I've got some Doc. And yeah, occasionally I'm sleepy. Maybe even a little bashful. Mm -hmm. You know, we always try to avoid kind of grumpy. And why do we always forget happy? Why is happy always the last one that comes up? I don't know, because he's the least rememberable? You mean the most positive? Yep. I said what I said. You know what I mean? That <laughs> our admin of great wit off in the, the Florida hinterlands pointed out immediately that the first things we notice are kind of the negative ones. Mm -hmm. That what that it really is that we relate to the dwarves, yeah. whether we're talking about it like this or not. Yeah. We don't relate to happy. Uh -huh. We don't bring happy up. Uh -huh. Grumpy comes up always. Dopey uh -huh. comes up always. People have trouble remembering Doc, Sleepy, and Bashville. 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 Bashful. Bashful. Go to Bashville, guys. Bashful. Gosh. Bashful. Grumpy, sneezy, dopey. Sleepy, Doc, Bashville, happy. Grumpy, happy, doing one, two, three, four, five. I always end up with one off. There's seven. There's set. There's always been seven. You're forgetting sneezy, I believe. Oh, I forget to. I forget to write sneezy. I I'll be honest. Sneezy is the only one. It's not really like an emotion or something. It's the only one. You know. I would even say because I I would even say that like when I'm sick, I'm not really like a special emotion. I'm just sick. Like it's kind of a I state of being of the, yeah. to me. I don't know. But that's my point. It is kind of a state of being. We can lose ourselves in it. We can lose ourselves in our head with being sick, especially right now. I'm mostly sleepy when I'm sick, I guess. I mean... You know? And grumpy. I want to sleep you're, through. You're yeah, little, grumpy too. Yeah. But And also, uh, take care of me. Right? There's some of that. Not Whether or not we admit Maybe. it when we're feeling yeah. it, when we're sick. It's like, man, I wish somebody would just... Yeah. You know? Yeah. But they wouldn't show queasy. But anyways... They wouldn't show queasy. Nobody wants to see somebody go through withdrawals. It's just a mess. Um, why, though? So if you had to pick, now you get to pick one dwarf. Dopey. Dopey. 
I'm See, always gonna pick Dopey. I love him. He's does, so does dope. Does anybody not pick Dopey? He's so dope. Is, I just love Dopey. What well, is it? Because he's so cute and no, I just I relate. I relate <laughs> more than any of the other ones. I relate. I relate. You know what? I think that's the reality. That, so when we as humans, how to get to happy, the dwarf we forget is you have to work your way through the other six and be okay with those spaces. That sometimes I'm this or this or this or this, and I'm happy that those pieces are part of me. Mm -hmm. Grumpy serves a purpose. Yeah. Grumpy serves the purpose of defending your own, what's the word I'm looking for? Peace? No, that's okay. Okay. I have trouble setting boundaries. Grumpy sets your boundaries. I, I'd still say that's defending your peace. Okay. You said a peace, right? Yeah. I, peace I, or peace. E A R I E. You're right. That I think of. So Grumpy keeps us safe. Because Grumpy goes, no, this isn't right. Right. I don't want nothing to do with this. Right. Doc. Is the side of us that wants to learn stuff. Yeah. Uh, the word I gave for myself yesterday is interested. You know, that I, I, I embrace my darkness. Mm -hmm. That <laughs> sleepy I own all day long. Sneezy, everybody currently. I, I have dealt, for me, sickness is a real thing. Not mm -hmm. sickness like, God, I, that sounds horrible. Um, I don't really relate to that one because I don't get sick very often. My problem is my head is really good at running the rest of my body. Mm. So I don't just mean sick in the sense of I can feel physically ill mm -hmm. and have to try and diagnose whether it's my brain or my body. Mm. Okay. I get that. So I relate to the idea of I think sneezy is a bit of a I hypochondriac. Feel like, I feel like when, when I'm – when I'm mentally not there, it kind of manifests as sleepy without me doing anything. Like, it just manifests as me, me wanting to sleep. Or when even when I'm physically slick, sick, I just want to sleep. Like, that's all I want to do. If you sleep too much, how do you feel about it, though? Do you end up feeling bad about it? No, I just feel tired. No, I mean, if... Like, I just... Do you I, ever go through the, I'm sleeping too much, and there are things I'm avoiding? Do you know you're avoiding? Yeah. Do you yeah, feel definitely. bad about avoiding like that or not? That's what I'm saying. Sometimes, That's, yeah. That how about bashful? But it's more like it's more like I feel physically tired. Like the more that I sleep, the more physically tired I feel, and the more I feel like I can't like physically do as much as I needed to get done. Like I feel like I just need to stay up for a little bit. So we struggle with the six dwarfs, mm -hmm. and we forget about the seventh. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it, so this is where this all came from, was that no one is complete without being okay with all seven of the dwarves. And it's really almost you got to work your way through the six gatekeepers to get to that middle one. Mm -hmm. That overconfidence, overtired, over shy, over sick, over angry, mm -hmm. over dopey for lack of a leg, rig of a, a better word, are all traps. Mm -hmm. My argument is over happy is, too, is a trap too. That fake over the top happy doesn't get you there. That there's something to be said of making peace with your seven dwarves. Yeah. That as much as we all relate to one or another, you need them all going, hi-ho, hi-ho, oh it's ah! off to work we it's go. That if you leave any of the dwarves behind, there's something missing from your day. I get that. It's a dishonest, not that it's, not dishonest to the world kind of day, dishonest internally, 
and then your body isn't I would in balance. say to some extent, I don't really experience these on a daily basis, though. To some extent, I usually experience one or the other. Which like, one? Or maybe a couple of them at once, you know? Which one don't you think you experience in a day? Which one do I think I don't experience that in a day? you don't experience in a day? Sneezing. I I I don't I don't see a reason that Sneezy is in this. We're not fight so you know? I most don't get of us it. aren't fighting with mental health at all. But Dopey's the one that like I no. I don't know, man. Dopey D- seems Dopey's, more mental healthy to me. No, Dopey's not mental healthy. Dopey's sitting back in the and just watching it go by and not involved. Oh, okay. You gotta you gotta lure Dopey out. Okay. Dopey's not real but Dopey's sitting Dopey is James Franco on Freaks and Geeks. Okay. James Franco kind of, oh my God, I apologize. This is such a a meta kind of deep dive thought. Uh-huh. It's James Franco trying to set up the film projector after he's forced to join the AV club, even though what he is is one of the hoods, and he's a total idiot and has no idea because he has trouble paying attention. But then he starts working at it, uh-huh. and then his life is saved by Dungeons and Dragons, as all lives are saved. I wouldn't say saved. He had fun. He had fun. <laughs> yeah. He but he got had to get out of his dopey mode. Okay. He had to go. Okay, I'll be a dwarf. Uh huh. Full circle, baby. <laughs> I'll bring dwarves wherever I have to. Okay. Even if I have to use them as producers. <laughs> not a dwarf! <laughs> I hate it here. That's true. He's not a dwarf, folks. I have measured. I'm taller than a dwarf by an inch. <laughs> <laughs> he does have an inch. He does. He no does. offense to dwarves. I love you guys. Which dwarf? is you that's the way we always ask this mm-hmm. which dwarf is you is what we want to know but reality is we were always all the dwarves all the way down finding balance in life is really hard we both know this the work mm-hmm. balance life balance just all of it sleep balance mm-hmm. that the trick is Getting our seven dwarves to work together. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. Do 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 do. They all need each other. Yes, they do. They do. All of your dwarves need each other too. What? Okay, so what other dwarf do you feel you're not running into on a daily basis? Do, do, do. That's a good question. I'd say happy. He's not always there. Aren't there pieces? There's pieces, yeah. Like, every once in Like, I would say, like, my day goes, like, I'm all right. Like, I'm okay. Like, you I'm go not sleepy, I'm not, grumpy, dopey, bad. I'm not, I'm bashful. not like, super happy. <laughs> I'm not, like, super happy, but I'm not, like, super depressed. I'm just, like, all right. This is your big I'm chance okay. to sing happy. Happy? You can sing happy. Because, um, you see, I can't, man. I, I ain't got Pharrell's voice. I don't got Pharrell's voice either. <laughs> That's why I'm not attempting it. I, I don't want to try. I am just proving that Bashful is in the studio. <laughs> Bashful is definitely in the studio. Always. So, the one we never think of, the one we always miss, is the one we always feel like we're not finding? Sometimes. Like, there's pockets, you know? Oh, my God. On top of it all, it's National Popcorn Day. It's National Popcorn Day. Oh, snap. I love popcorn. I'm going to admit something to those of you out there. The overwhelming smell of buttered popcorn has gotten to the point of causing queasy to make his appearance in Snow White and the Eight Dwarves. I haven't eaten popcorn in like two weeks. I don't know what he's <laughs> talking about. I, man. That it's a balancing act. I mean, it, seven doesn't even begin to cover our dwarves. Mm-hmm. The layers of our onion, each layer different. Seven is a unifying group that we can all relate to. But all of us have our own dwarves we've got to make, you know, mm-hmm. make a peace with, if you will. 
So as unusual as our Disney afternoon has been, mm -hmm. I think it's a real, I think it's an interesting way to examine who we are when we can put it in a place that it's outside of us and talk about finding a balance in a silly way that mm -hmm. dopey, doc, sleepy, bashful, sneezy, grumpy, all have to figure out a way to accept happy. That many of them are avoidance techniques because there's a dwarf you've forgotten about. I think they got to coexist to some extent. Right. No, I agree. That I don't... I don't think, I don't think happy's like the one above all. But I it's just, the one always forgotten. I don't know. I thought... Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I guess. The, the one that you said you don't experience was happy. The one we mentioned that came up last was happy. Mm -hmm. The one that... You know, it, it, I, it was brilliant insight, I think, to point out that our first the first place we start is negative. Mm -hmm. We all go for dopey because he's the least negative of our negative dwarves, maybe. The least negative of our negative Doc dwarves. Doc represents overconfidence, too. Okay. You know, that when you think about it as, you know, the combination, how do you get to content? So if, if what you do is look at it as a balance of the seven, mm -hmm. then happy isn't what matters. Mm -hmm. Happy is just one of the conditions that must come about equally yeah. to reach contentment. So in the end, that's the mind we're going for. Is that your phone beeping? No, it's yours. No, it's not. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. It might be this one. Thought I put it on Is that instead. something people relate to? Is that something people can feel? Yeah, it's on BND. I think. Yeah, it did beep. It instead it rattles. Yeah. I hear it on the table actually. No, I knew it didn't beep. If it's on D and D, it'll it won't make a sound. No, it was on something. I heard something I heard vibrating. something vibrating. Might, oh, yeah. you know what? For those of you who haven't figured out the B, it's basement. Actually, if the phone goes off upstairs, I hear the vibration. Really? That's Yeah, I often hear the wife's oh. phone up here in the corner. Okay. I, I, yeah, I hear that's all wild. kinds of weirdness. That's, that's why when people are like, oh, I hear noise. I mean, there's some white noise in here. There always is. Uh -huh. um, occasionally, you may even hear the sound of water in the distance. Um, yeah. There's okay, hopefully there's some people out here that haven't been down here. Things. We keep meaning to put up pictures. I put up some pictures of the other side of the studio. And there is, by by virtue of a gift from my daughter, a 300-gallon pond in the other room. Mm -hmm. um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a mine here for our dwarves to work in. <laughs> that if we want to go mine gems, all the dwarves have to work together. Was that a wrap up that I bring dwarves all the way back around somehow? Mm -hmm. I know this has been a little tedious today. I didn't mean for it to That's be. Okay. That's um, okay. I think coming to terms with who we are in pieces allows us to slowly build the puzzle of who we are in reality. Repeat that one more time. I find that coming to terms with who we are in pieces. Mm hmm allows us to better put together the, the picture of who we are in reality, like putting together a puzzle slowly. As we come to terms with more pieces, there aren't bad pieces. They're just pieces that need the other pieces to make them whole. Right, right. If you bring all seven of the dwarves together... They work together fine. They work together fine. They, that now you have a, a working unit, a, a group making it work inside of you. And yeah. that's our goal. That, you know what, in the end, how to ride this roller coaster in a less roller coastery kind of way. <laughs> and I think that everybody, everybody rowing, oh my God, my, I'm gonna mix so many metaphors here. Everybody rowing, everybody coming together as one. And meanwhile, 
I sound like I might have split personalities. I'm like, hold on, I'm going to get all my dwarves together real quick, <laughs> and then I will be ready to talk to you. Hold on, the dwarves have some work to do. <laughs> I'm Doc. <laughs> that I th it's the accepting that we are multifaceted mm -hmm. and that others are multifaceted. Mm -hmm. Don't define things by a single dwarf. Yeah. You know, don't define people by a single dwarf and don't define yourself by a single dwarf. And I want everybody to know dwarf is spelled D W A R F because dwarves doesn't happen until J.R.R. Tolkien decides that he wants to separate dwarfism and dwarves. And then we add D-W-A-R-V-E-S, which is a non-traditional spelling. I want, I want to say something. Yes. Just to confirm that I learn nothing. I'm still dopey. No, I'm just joking. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just what playing. What a great man. conversation. I really enjoyed talking to you all today. You know, what I really wanted to do was kind of open up in a silly way. Yeah. About the fact that we're complicated. Yeah. Humans. Humans Complications. are complicated. Don't beat yourself up because one of the other dwarf one of the dwarves is currently riding rampant. Right. Just remember you got to get together with all your dwarves to get to happy. No, mm -hmm. happy needs to be in with all the rest. Anyways, you need to get all your dwarves together. <laughs> If you're going off mining for gems off in life today. So I will leave you with just this one little bit. Hi-ho, hi-ho, <laughs> it's off to it's work we go. go. The show is done. It's been real fun. Hi-ho, 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 hi-ho. Thanks, guys. You know I always appreciate it. I try to make it work, folks. <laughs>